Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the second problem on um, your midterm, and uh, I'm going to uh, obviously this will also be on the final, so it's not, something similar. So kind of take a look at it. Um, this is a K, we'll solve this circuit by KVL KCL, um, and the first thing we want to do, the step one is we want to be able to uh, always do KCL. Now we do have a voltage a voltage source of 100 volts, R1 at 50. R2 at 50, R3 at 100, R4 at 25, R5 at 25. Uh, KCL um, will be the first step you do. KCL, and it will be at node voltage A, right? And because of these and these equations are going to be the same, you only use one, one node, okay? Um, and at KCL, you simply, you know, you can use the mathematical summation. You can just write the summation. I'm sorry, the, the, some of the, the currents coming into the node are positive, okay? And so therefore, you draw your currents, I1, I2, and then you have obviously I3, okay? I1, I2, I3, and this current induces a voltage across the resistor, right? Or the voltage will induce a current, whichever, however you want to look at it. So as, so the first thing you're going to have is I1, I2, I3, so is I1 coming into the node? Yes, plus I1, I2 going out of the node? Yes, I2. Is I3 going out of the node? Yeah, minus I3 is equal to zero. Okay, that's your equation one. Okay, from the current, you will create now the voltages. And the loop you want to follow is this voltage loop. Um, so here's your voltage loops, and we're going to assume it's a clockwise direction. Whatever direction you choose, it really doesn't matter. And you have loop 1 and loop 2. When the current goes across this resistor, it induces the voltage of plus V2 because this is resistor 2. When the current goes across this resistor, I3 goes across this resistor, it induces a current called V4. I'm sorry, voltage V4. And as the current moves down, again, I3 is going down. It's coming here, here, here. It induces a voltage V5 to match this resistor 5. As the current moves down this resistor, it will induce a voltage on this side called V3. Uh, okay. For this loop, it will be V3. And then as the current comes here, obviously the current's moving this way, right? I1 is moving here to here, I2 goes from here to here, I3 goes from here to here, so this is going to be V1. Now, for this loop, V3 goes from here to here, V4, for this loop, the current goes down, you're going to analyze each of the voltages for each loop, you'll have two V3s written down here, right, and it's kind of scrunched up with the R3, so I may want to rewrite R3 a little bit. Okay, so then we write KVL for loop one. And then we're going to use the second sign convention. Okay, so for loop one, what happens? We start here, we circle this, then we circle here as we go around this and sign and this sign. So let's start here. Okay, or I'm sorry, let's start with VS. So plus VS minus V2 minus V3 minus V1 is equal to zero. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Well, Vs is obviously 100 volts plus 100. Do we know what V, uh, I'm sorry, this is V2, this is not Vs, I apologize. So it's plus Vs minus V2 minus V3 and minus V1. Okay, that was an error I made, okay. We don't know what that is. We do know what V3, no, and we don't know what, we don't know what these are. Right, we don't know what that is, that is, that is, because we just wrote them down. It was arbitrary. So if we don't know what they are, we simply write plus 100 I R. We don't know what that is, it's I R. We don't know what it is, it's I R is equal to zero. 
Now we fill in the I and the R with respect to V2. V2 is here, I1, R2. V3 is here, I2, R3. VR1 is here, V1 is here, I1, R1. Now we plug it in. Plus 100, minus R2 value is 50, 50, I1. And then you have an R3 of value of 100, 100, I2. And you have a I, I'm sorry, uh, 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 R1 value of 50 minus 50 I1 is equal to zero. So when you add this equation, when you add the number, when you add the variables up, it's 100 minus 100 I1 minus 100 I2 is equal to zero. You do a little math, it's 100 I1, 100 I2 is equal to 100. Or you can write I1 and I2 uh, plus I2 is equal to one. Both are acceptable. Okay, and let me uh, erase. I need a little mistake here. I want to make sure this is cleaned up. Okay, under I2. Then we do obviously our last loop. We have to do it side by side. So let's look at it side by side. Okay, KVL loop two. Put three here. Second sign. Plus, so we, we when we have the second sign convention, we, we go around with the second sign, plus V3. We go around here. This is the direction we travel here. So second sign of the direction of travel. Okay. Plus V3. Minus V4. Minus V5 is equal to zero. What is V3? We don't know. We wrote it down, so we put plus question mark. V4, we don't know, plus question mark. V5, we don't know, minus, I'm sorry, minus question mark is equal to plus question mark, minus question mark, minus question mark is equal to zero. If it's a question mark, we put IR, minus IR, minus IR is equal to zero. Okay. Now, when we have IR, what's the IR? Across V3, it's I2, R3. Across V4, it's I3, R4. Across R5, I'm sorry, V5 is I3, R5. Okay. So what is R3? R3 is 100. So our equation comes out to 100 I2 minus R4 is 25, 25 I3, R5 is 25, 25 I3 again is equal to zero. So because it's I3 across, so you have 100 I2 minus 50 I3 is equal to zero because you add like terms. Okay, we have our three equations, I want, uh, equation one, equation two, equation three. We simply write it down and you can solve it in Wolfram Alpha. So now the step four is solve. You solve for currents. So when you solve for currents, I1, I2, I3, you set it up where equation one is I1, minus I2 minus I3 is equal to zero. Equation two is 100 I1 plus 100 I2 is equal to 100. And equation three is 100 I2 minus 50 I3 equals zero. And you're going to put this to Wolfram Alpha and you solve it. Okay.